I'm Chelsea, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a glimpse into my life as an actuary at Root Insurance. If you ask an actuary what their typical day looks like, most will say there isn't one. <laughs> because our work varies so much, I'm actually going to be giving you a glimpse into what a typical week looks like for me. Um, and it actually helps to know, you know what my specific role is too, because uh, the type of work that you're doing as an actuary also depends highly on the industry, the company, as well as the role that you're currently working in. So to start, I am currently in a pricing manager and actuary role here at Root Insurance. And essentially what that means is we are responsible for coming up with how much people pay for their auto insurance. And once we figure out all of the calculations behind that, we need to work closely with departments of insurance to get our rates approved so that they can be used in each of the different markets that we write business in. So um, as you might expect, it is an extremely collaborative environment, um, constantly working with different um, individuals both within Root as well as externally. So like I said, I'm going to be diving into kind of some significant tasks that I do throughout the week and what those look like. Um, so here we go. So I typically start my day with a stand-up, which is essentially a five to 10 minute meeting that I have with all of my team, as well as the product manager and any other individuals that are working really closely together on similar projects. And these give everyone an opportunity to share what they accomplished in the previous day and what they plan to work on that day. These are so critical for us to all make sure that we are aligned on the most important priorities um, since our work and the priorities change uh, constantly. After that, like I mentioned before, we work very closely with state departments of insurance and to be able to get our rates approved, we have to put together um, documents to send to them to outline what we plan to do, why it's actuarially sound, why it's not unfairly discriminatory, and so on. Um, and this process occurs through what we call rate filings. Once we submit the filings to the Department of Insurance, they then have the opportunity to ask us questions. And this is what we refer to as objections. And sometimes the regulators have one or two questions and they're good, other times it can take years to get our filings approved. So it really just depends on the insurance department that you're working with and the complexity of your filing. In addition to answering questions that the regulars have about our rate filings, we also from time to time get requests related to market conduct exams. And these essentially exist to make sure that insurance companies are abiding by the laws that exist in each of the different states. Because we move very quickly here at Root. I have multiple touch points throughout the week to check in with my team and make sure that we are on the same page across all the different stakeholders working on an individual project. When I'm not in meetings, I typically use the downtime to uh, check email and Slack and answer any questions that my team has um, and make sure that they have everything that they need. But in addition, especially when I get kind of longer chunks of time to work, I generally have one or two um, analytical projects going on and that's probably one of my favorite things about the actuarial profession is not only do I have a team that I get the opportunity to lead but I also have my own projects and get to dive deep into the weeds and continue to do analysis um, you know throughout my career. The first is methodology discussions. In other words we have a lot of different techniques for coming up with how much we should charge somebody for their insurance. And the reality is, anytime you're predicting the future, you're gonna be wrong to some degree. And so we're constantly researching new techniques and iterating on this process to make it better and better so that we can be more accurate and fair in the way that we price individuals based on the information that we have for them. Next, I'm involved in execution decisions. In other words, once we've gathered all this information, 
we have to decide what are we going to do about it. So I t generally meet with folks all across the organization to make data-driven decisions that also support company goal. Typically, the folks that I'm working with the most would be our product managers, engineering, legal, as well as data science. So you may have heard that actuaries have to pass exams to become fully credentialed, um, but you might not have heard that the learning doesn't stop once you pass all your exams. Um, to remain credentialed, you actually have to accumulate continuing education hours every year. So a couple times per month, we have webinars and different continuing education opportunities to make sure we stay up to speed on the latest and greatest um, information in the actuarial field. Especially when working from home, it can be really difficult to separate work from your home life. And so throughout the pandemic, I have kind of established some rhythms for myself that have really helped with this balance. For years, I would just work through lunch and part of this is because I am an introvert by nature and so I needed the time to myself to kind of recharge. However, now I think it is critical that I am intentional to get away from work at least a couple times per day um, just to recharge and also be reminded of the big picture. Um, and something I've started doing during my lunch breaks that I've really, really enjoyed is taking the time to read my Bible, um, check out a devotional, listen to a podcast, and just generally speaking, you know, recharge and be encouraged by, you know, a positive message. Right now, I am going through a devotional called Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. And if you haven't heard of Bob Goff, <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> he is incredible i mean if you if you want to just laugh and be encouraged by somebody who has the craziest but coolest life story um, and also just loves jesus and is such a positive light you should definitely check him out i also recently stumbled upon the read scripture app and if you've ever struggled to read through the bible on your own i would highly recommend this app i personally for years have really had trouble making my way through the Bible without understanding the big picture. And this app is so nice because they've created videos, like mini videos to be able to um, take the story that you're reading and put it into the context of the whole gospel. Um, so definitely recommend checking those out. They have been hugely impactful in my life. The other practice that has been so helpful for me is at least two days per week, I make sure to leave work by 5.30 and get to the gym and work out with some friends. Um, it's just incredible how refreshed I feel after I've moved my body a little bit and also just had fun with some people that I really care about. Um, and so this has been a really nice rhythm to kind of um, keep me motivated throughout the week. So, as I shared earlier, an actuary's day-to-day -day life could look different based on their role, the company they work for, as well as the industry. So to provide a more complete view, I've asked a few friends and fellow actuaries to help me out. So if you're curious to learn more, check out inspiringactuaries.com and you'll get to see a glimpse into other industries and types of work um, that, could, that you could experience on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have any questions about the actuarial profession or insurance, please let me know. It is so fun to connect with you all and to put together helpful resources for you. Also, if you're looking for encouragement in your professional endeavors, check out Inspiring Actuaries on Instagram or inspiringactuaries.com. Thanks for joining and hope you enjoyed the video.